guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode four of Wednesday. I don't know if the last episode cleared anything up for me whatsoever about the mystery of the monster. Um, I, I, I think the one thing that it did help clear up a little bit was why Wednesday is kind of having visions. I don't know what makes her the key into what. I don't know if it's to right a wrong from 400 years ago, if it's to get the truth out about Joseph Crackstone, and it seems like people know about the truth. Um, they just don't care. Um, but I don't know if they know the deep, deep, dark truth, like the burning everybody in a building truth. I am kind of uh, relieved to know that it's because of her, her ancestry, because of Goody Adams, uh, that that's, that's the connection that she has to these visions and, and to Joseph Crackstone, but what she has to do to defeat him because of the prophecy in the quad, you know, it shows her fighting a pilgrim. And I don't know if she then has to fight somebody that is a descendant of Joseph Crackstone. I don't think he comes back from the dead. I mean, he could in this universe, 100% could. But then I was like, well, who could be a descendant of Joseph Crackstone that we even know? And I'm like, oh, Tyler. Um, and I don't know if Joseph Crackstone and the monster have anything in common, if they are enemies and they have to fight each other anyway. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not thinking that the monster and Joseph Crackstone are kind of one and the same at all. They could be completely different entities. Um, I, I definitely think that uh, the, the mystery of that has been building very nicely, and I have more questions than I have answers. Now, Professor Thornhill, uh, she was going into the Secret Society basement layer meeting room library, and, uh, you know, she knew the code. Um, and she was the one that had talked about the Secret Society to Wednesday in the first place, and she said she never fit in with uh, outcasts or with normies. Um, so I was like, oh, she must not have gone to this school, but she kind of knew about that and she knew about the secret society. So then I'm like, well, maybe she did. Maybe like she is the daughter of somebody who went to the school. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out Thornhill. Um, and, and like, is she the monster? Like is because I mean the, the monster, <sighs> I don't know. The monster doesn't strike me as bad. I mean, killing's not good. He killed a homeless man, and or it killed a homeless man in the last episode. Um, so I don't, I don't know quite. Uh, I don't. I have questions. <laughs> Still can't put it together. And I'm normally really good at this. And I like find clues, and I'm like, aha. And in this one, I'm like, I. <laughs> it could be twenty different people right now. Because uh, then they also showed Xavier coming out of a shed that he was locking with a scratch on his neck. And he seemed really concerned when Wednesday had talked about the human footprints coming from the monster going to a human footprint. He's like, show me. And of course it's raining. And of course she couldn't. Um, and then he really pushes even more so that his father is uh, a psychic and not to trust psychic visions. And that's, we've heard that now from, from Weems and we've heard that from Xavier. And I really, I know she would rather dye her hair pink than call her mom, but I feel like Morticia could clear up so much of this if she just tried it. And I know, like, she seems hell-bent on figuring it out herself. She does not want to rely on her mother. She doesn't want to be anything like her mother. It's such a shame because, like, the answer could be, like, right there. It really could. Um, I missed that uh, Ajax was a Gorgon. I, I didn't I didn't know the name of like the the snake head thingy um but now I know and that's going to be utilized I think in a future episode <laughs> to turn people to stone or maybe a monster who knows um but the the accidental oops I turned myself to stone in the shower while getting ready for a date to go out with Enid I don't think that's going to work out well for him and Enid uh Enid was really upset really upset and I don't like seeing our girl upset she's just a, a ray of freaking sunshine, and I don't like seeing her upset, but when she gets upset, she's scary. Really scary. You know, the, the whole uh, kind of mini date they had at Uriah's and, and the little anthropomorphic setups. I still want to see a badger dentist. That's, that's my thing. It's my dig. So me and Kinbot, like, I need a new therapist. I'm going to go see Kinbot, and then I'm going to buy a little figurine from her. <laughs> I love it. It's so adorable. It's twisty, but adorable. You know, Eugene was out in the woods. It looks like he was foraging mushrooms. That's what it looked like on the side of the tree. I don't know if he is uh, just a nature boy and that's like just his jam in general. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't 
I don't think it was honeycombs or bees, uh, but you know, it worried me that he was out in the forest because I was like, please, for the love of God, Eugene, don't die. He is too pure for this world. He's just an absolute sweetheart. I, I, <laughs> I was worried a monster was gonna get him. Uh, I'm glad that wasn't the case, but I don't know what he saw. I know he saw the police lights coming up the road and I would hope that, you know, they weren't like, oh, it's a student from Evermore, get him. You know, uh, I, I definitely think that like, maybe he saw something that maybe Xavier was doing. That would be nice. And especially because Wednesday really, you know, she, she helped him with the bullies, with the bully pilgrims. Um, after the whole throw up incident. <laughs> Poor Eugene. But she even says, like, you remind me of Pugsley. And it's like somebody who's kind and sweet. And I know, like, like she's like being like, my brother's weak or something like that. But that's not what she means. It's just she knows that he's not confrontational and she doesn't have a problem with it. She is stone cold. I love it. Like, she doesn't, like, flinch at all. She just answers the call, she gets the job done, and she has witty remarks. It's the best. <laughs> um, I think we need to find the Book of Shadows, wherever that may be, because that was uh, a book that Joseph Crackstone, I guess, used? I don't know, it seems like Crackstone wouldn't want a Book of Shadows because it would be like uh, a sign of Satan or Hellfire or whatever the hell he had an issue with. Uh, so I'm not quite sure if it was just like, ah, I confiscated the Book of Shadows. Uh, where's the real one? Who took it? Now, of course, Weems is, I think, uh, on, on her last nerve when it comes to Wednesday. She definitely, uh, like, I think she sees Morticia in Wednesday. And I don't think her and Morticia had the best relationship. I don't think that it was a Wednesday, you know, Enid relationship. Not that I think that, like, they are best friends forever right now. But I think that there's potential there for her and Enid. Um, but definitely, Weems has a chip on her shoulder when it comes to Morticia. And I'd like more information on that. The more we get Gwendolyn Christie playing this character, uh, the happier it makes me. Her and Jenna Ortega are killing it in this. Like, they steal every scene that they're in. They just, they, they, they hold the room. I adore them. And of course, we got a little bit from Bianca and, like, everyone else in the rest of the school, especially at the beginning with the <laughs> secret society that Wednesday wanted nothing to do with. <laughs> Oh, they think they're so cool. And she's like, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I adore her. Uh, is she doesn't care about fitting in. It's the last thing she could possibly be bothered with. It's wonderful. So really excited to launch into this episode and, and, and get into more meat of this mystery and get more wonderful one-liners from Wednesday. Uh, the, the, the dark humor is, it, it's, 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 as though it could come from my own mind, except she's way quicker at delivering it. It's just the best. It's absolutely the best. I'm loving this series so far. And uh, I have got five more episodes to go. Like, I'm sad. It seems like a really short, like, season. But, like, at the same time, like, every episode delivers. So if they can deliver quality over quantity, I will take it tenfold. <laughs> the quality, not the quantity. You know what I mean. All right, guys, <laughs> let's get into it. We got the B at the beginning. We last time we had a pilgrim hat. Is it thing? It sounds like it all. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do the autopsy. You find the files. While she does the autopsy, of course she knows how to do an autopsy. Don't pout. Your scalpel skills are questionable. How does he get balance? Do you remember on my 13th birthday when Uncle Fester gave me that cadaver? You sliced right through that man's carotid. <laughs> no. Magnificent hematoma. Oh god. Oh god. A little creepy dark. What remains of the chest and torso indicates a frenzied attack. The subject has been almost entirely disemboweled. Oh. And he's lost a foot. This is curious. Subject's left foot is missing. It appears to have been chewed off at the ankle. Have you seen a left foot anywhere? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Did she just ask a hand if it saw a foot? I thought you should see this before I issued my report on the latest victim. 
Oh, there is a left foot. The killer cut off two toes from the victim's left foot. Best guess, they use a surgical saw. The final autopsy report still pending. They used a saw? She didn't hide in there, did she? Yeah. Ooh. Full rigor. You've been dead a while. I guess you won't mind waiting another day for me to cut you open. She's good. She's good. Five more minutes. <laughs> adore her so much <laughs> oh i was like i'm surprised she's not enjoying that whoa what a night whoa what a night i'm not gonna start singing you don't want to hear it when i suggested giving your side of the room a makeover i did not have ted bundy's pinterest in mind <laughs> thing and i may have made an unsanctioned trip to the county morgue to copy the files of the monsters victims okay there are so many levels of Ew, in that statement, and I don't even know where to begin. All of the monster's victims have had body parts surgically removed. Oh. The first one a kidney, the second one a finger. One sec, I don't really feel like- She's gonna faint! His murders aren't mindless, he's collecting trophies like a seasoned yeah. serial killer. It's quite impressive, actually. <laughs> oh, poor Enid. <laughs> Fetch your smelling salts. Again. Again. <laughs> Some people aren't built for that. Tweak to my back fencing. Mm -mm. I know you're all excited about Saturday, which is why I haven't assigned any homework. What's Saturday? Aren't you pumped about disco balls and spiked punch? Oh, is it the dance? That's like the only thing I know about this show is like the, the dance thing that's on TikTok. Yeah, what is this place? Xavier didn't get those scratches from fencing. He's hiding something. Yeah, he doesn't have like a secret pet or something he's keeping alive, right? Has he seen the monster? Is he the monster? Other than terrifying, they're really good. But how did he get the scratches? Wednesday. What is this place? It's kind of my private art studio. At least he's not a liar. I would love to see inside. Why don't you give me a tour? Not right now, it's, it's a total mess. I shot at a crime scene photographer last summer. I'm not easily phased. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Why were you looking for me? I wanted to go over Miss Thornhill's homework assignment. There isn't one. She didn't give us homework. Remember? Ask him to the dance. Is this about a certain dance that makes you want to poke needles into your eyes, perhaps? Now you have to go. If this was my chance to get up close and personal with a potential serial killer. How could I refuse? Yeah. Are you really going to make me ask? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Would you? Would you possibly consider going to the Raven Dance with a certain... Wait... Would you go to the dance with me? There you go, girl. Whew. Yes. Wednesday, I would love to go to the dance with you. He'd love to. <laughs> oh my god! Wednesday, Adam is going to the Raven. My whole world is tilted. You know what you need now? A bullet to the head. <laughs> you need something that screams, first date, stand back, bitches, I have arrived. And I know just the place. What kind of dystopian hellscape is this? Oh, I thought it was gonna be like Uriah's or something. Oh, no. Our first roomy shopping spree. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I have more pressing business than to worry about a stupid dress for a dance I don't even want to attend. But I thought we were bonding. Aww. Come me loose and go run with the pack. Are you sure? Dang it, I was actually looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm going to see Galpin. I'm not stopping. Yes, I said Uriah's. That is it. That's the dress Wednesday. If we're going to stop it, I think it's time we both put our differences aside and began to work together. Hmm. Sorry, you gotta do better than that. You got some nice detail, though. 
I didn't draw it. Well, I need to know who did. Unless we're exchanging intel, I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> when you bring me some concrete evidence, maybe we'll talk. Well, at least he's offering that. <laughs> Is it okay if I talk to Enid? Oh, interesting. I'm Lucas Walker, Mayor's son. Recently split from Jericho High's cheer captain, Chrissy Smothers. Cubernet who really needs to rethink your spray tan. Okay. It's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. I've been asked for gossip, and I follow half your grade on TikTok. Oh, yeah, and my roommate kicked your butt. Twice. There's that. Wednesday Adams is your roommate? Sure is. So why are you sitting here, Lucas Walker? I got a friend who works at Hot Couture. She overheard you're on the hunt for a date to the Raven. Why does he want to go? Interesting. Your father is in particularly frustrating form today. Avoid. <laughs> you guys have the Raven coming out this weekend, right? I must be the only one not obsessed with this stupid dance. So you're not going? Actually, I was forced to ask someone as an act of self-preservation. Sure, that happens, I guess. <laughs> so who is it? Xavier. Got it. Hope you two have fun. What is the beef there? I mean, call me crazy, Wednesday, but you keep giving me these signals. It's not my fault I can't interpret your emotional Morse code. Then oh. let me spell it out. I thought we liked each other. Oh. But then you pull something like this and I have no idea where I stand. Am I in the more than friend zone or just a pawn in some game you're playing? I'm just dealing with a lot right now. I need to prioritize. That's not really a great answer. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. I guess give me a call if I ever move up your to-do list. Ouch. But also, why are kids from another school getting, like, involved in the Raven? And I do like how Thing was caring about her in that moment. I assume this is the creature that's been rampaging in the woods? You've heard about it before? Rumors. Mr. Fitz banned me from bug hunting until further notice. Aww. I mean, good, but aww. Speaking of monsters with sharp claws, could you get this to your roomie? I'll keep putting myself out there until Enid finally sees me. Aww. My mom say people appreciate me when I'm older. I know Aww. they're probably just trying to make me feel better, but... Listen, people like me and you were different. We're original thinkers, intrepid outliers in this vast cesspool of adolescence. We don't need these inane rites of passage to validate who we are. So, you're not going to the Raven either? Hmm. That circle... I think I know where that is. Show me. Oh. What were you doing out here? Collecting specimens. This place is ground zero for horny gypsy moths. You think it's in there? Only one way to find out. Oh jeez, Wednesday just charges right ahead. She's got no fear. She's got no fear. That's our girl. If you hear me screaming bloody murder, there's a good chance I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> oh, she's fantastic. She's so fantastic. Oh, good for you, Eugene. He's a good friend. Leads later. Are oh, those God. human? No. No, I think it's got a taste for venison. Oh my. Maybe it tries to lock itself in there so it doesn't kill? Yahtzee. Concrete proof. Is that from the monster? Is that DNA? I won't be long. Just need to find something to match against the claw's DNA. Yep. I mean, those paintings are terrifying, but they're really good. That might be paint. What the hell are you doing? How do you know what the monster looks like? Or are these all just self-portraits? Oh. He's probably a seer, right? This creature's been haunting my dreams for the past couple weeks. When I was painting this one, the claws reached out of the canvas and took a swipe at me. And that's how I got these scratches. What? I thought you were able to control your ability. Not when it comes to this thing. Maybe it's just your guilty conscience. Look, I told you I'm not the monster, okay? I believe him. So you just happened to draw pictures of it? Down to the location of its lair in the woods? You were in here. Before, when I caught you outside. That's the only reason you asked me to the Raven, isn't it? It's nothing personal. No, it never is with you, is it? I mean, do you even care about anyone or, or anything at all, Wednesday? It's like two boys that she's just hurt their feelings. I mean, kind of Eugene a little bit, but that's sad. 
That's the claw of the monster, and that's a dried blood sample from a potential suspect. You asked for concrete evidence. That's it. Where'd you get this? And who's the suspect? Run the test first, then I'll explain everything. I'm not playing games, Adams. Neither am I, Sheriff. Does she ever play games? Is Thing trying to make something happen? Because he knows, Thing knows that she actually does like Tyler. Oh, beautiful. What a nice top. Oh, Ajax is with another chick. That's unfortunate. Oh, is everyone supposed to wear white at the Raven? Seems like an opportunity to wear a lot of black. That's cool. Yeah, my high school dance has never looked this cool. Don't you remember being full of hope and excitement about the Raven? All I remember is disappointment. Mm -hmm. The boy I asked turned me down for another girl. Morticia Frump, in fact. It was Gomez? I mean, I, I'm, I don't think that necessarily it had to be Gomez, but that's sad. I'm coming, Eugene! Hey, did you happen to grab any extra batteries for the flash? Tyler. Uh Got your invite. Guessing you had thing drop it in the tip jar. Your note was so genuine and sweet. Totally took me by surprise. Me too. Oh, you're sappy. You need a few minutes. Genuine and sweet. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Pay for it. Uh, you probably didn't. Five finger discount? Five finger discount, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's perfect. Wow. You look unrecognizable, ridiculous. A classic example of female objectification for the male gaze. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I mean it, Wednesday. You look beautiful. She gonna crack a smile? No. Wednesday. What's going on? What happened to staking out the cave? Guess I'll check out the woods myself. Don't go. Please alone. don't go by yourself. Yeah. We'll go together tomorrow night. Understood? Hummer never shies away from danger. No, Eugene, don't. Oh no. Mm. Oh, she looks so cute. So oh, my God. You can't say that. It's offensive. The correct name is Yeti. Oh, there Sorry. you go. Uh, I wouldn't have known. Yeti teeny? Yeah. Oh. oh my god. So sorry. Let me fix that. She's so awkward. Ain't it? <laughs> oh, that. I thought that was you. Also awkward. Does your mood have to do with a certain pigtail of Gothic girl? She's not here. We are. I do really like being here with you, so. Bianca is really pretty, though. So no more talking about Wednesday Adams. Until she walks to the door and she looks stunning. Wednesday totally busted out of her cocoon. Miss Thornhill, this is Tyler Galpin. Uh, yeah, double cap, no foam, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. <laughs> okay. She said she gets matcha lattes. That's not a matcha latte. Wednesday, I come in peace. That's a shame. I brought my pocket base. The medieval kind. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe you brought him. Why are you bringing this up? Because you don't know what he did to me. What did he do to you? Enlighten me. Oh no. Are those the playoffs? Who's winning? The Penguins or the Ducks? You follow pro uh -huh. hockey? I grew up with a pack of older brothers. It was like, watch hockey or we'll go a tongue lung on you. From Way of the Dragon. You are different. What's happening? You up for getting down? Yeah. I love that for her. I love that for him. He needs to leave the pilgrim friends behind. No movement at the cave. No sign of the target. Although, I just heard a rare club-horned grasshopper. Good for you, but don't get distracted.
Xavier told me what you did last year. Hey, you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on Outreach Day. Oh, that's why you're staring at it. Look, I, I wish I could say that it was an accident, or that it wasn't half as bad as it sounds, but I'd be lying. And he could have made things a lot worse for me, but he didn't. Look, I did a terrible thing, but I swear I'm not a terrible person. Did you think I was going to judge you over some lousy prank? Mm -hmm. I would have taken it further. You mean like putting piranhas in a swimming pool? I'd do it again. <laughs> yes, she would. I knew there's a reason I liked you. Someone appreciating her work. That's exactly what she needs in her life. Although I still don't trust him. And I'd hate for her to open her heart to somebody who's going to hurt her. Okay, I think this is the uh, dance I've seen on TikTok. <laughs> I just don't picture Wednesday dancing. Has she been drugged or something? Or is this her having fun? Because this is fantastic. I'll be right back. Aww. Ina deserves a good time. Dance with Bianca. Good grief. I hate when people sulk. Do me a favor. Take off your amulet and make me forget about it. Oh. You broke up with me because you thought I was manipulating you with my siren song. Now you want me to use it to help you get over another girl? Yeah, bold move. Good for you, Bianca. Know your worth. Although, if she was manipulating him, not cool. Well, it was nice to see Wednesday let loose a little bit. Oh, what are they gonna do? Guys, I was thinking that maybe this isn't such a good idea. Yeah, don't tell me you've got soft like Tyler. Come on, let's go, come on. Tyler was friends with them. That makes sense, total sense. Potential suspect has arrived at location. Is it the sheriff? <gasps> oh my God. So somebody wanted to hide it. Oh my god, now I don't know what's going on at all. Whoever invented high heels clearly had a side hustle as a torturer. <laughs> as my dear mother always says, fire tests gold, suffering tests a woman. Mm, I like that. You don't know what it's like. Being beautiful and popular. Never knowing people's true feelings. If someone likes me for me. What about your amulet? It's not foolproof. That's why Xavier broke up with me. He can never fully trust me. Oh, it's not even her the fault. The worst part is I can never trust his feelings either. I never knew if they were real or not. Mm. You're lucky. You don't care what people think of you. Honestly, I wish I cared a little more. Aww. I like that moment between the two of them. Like, they don't always have to hate each other. Be a monster. Oh god. I keep thinking the monster is gonna be like around every corner. We're gonna lose poor Eugene and all they're gonna find is a retainer. Freaked out, sorry. Levels. <laughs> I thought that was out in the woods and it was the music of the dance. <laughs> oh god, Xavier, get the stick out of your butt. I know your feelings are hurt, but have fun. Seriously, it's blood? <laughs> Her smile is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, everybody, just go with it and have a good time. <laughs> like the only true genuine smile we've seen from Wednesday in its blood. Oh, bummer. 
It's been better if it was corn syrup, like in Carrie. <laughs> no! Eugene is in the woods. He's in danger. Okay, so I, I obviously that wasn't real time. You did this? You know, look, after Crackstone statue, I... I thought you were different. Oh, you liked me. <laughs> Wolf, ow. Wolf, ow. Wolf, ow. Wolf, ow. Wolf, ow. Oh, get away from her! Oh. I didn't even want to go with him. I wanted to go with you. So then why didn't you ask me? Because you pulled me off the other night and you never told me why. I was too embarrassed to tell you, but I accidentally looked in the mirror and kind of stoned myself with my snakes. We should probably take it slow, right? <laughs> totally agree. She could have shredded his hat and really messed things up. Aww. Well, I guess a happy-ish ending? I don't know about making out with my new boyfriend with blood on me. Yeah, obviously Wednesday's visions aren't real time, so whoever is at the dance could easily come out here and hurt him. No. Not you, Jean. Oh, run, buddy. Eugene! Eugene! Look at her caring about somebody. Oh, she's terrifying running through the woods like that. <laughs> Eugene! Over here! Is that Eugene! Eugene! Eugene. No! Oh my god! Is he alive? Okay. Collect yourself. <laughs> ah. So it didn't quite look like it was Eugene that got sliced, even though he was covered with blood. They wouldn't kill off Eugene, right? Hmm. I'm gonna need a second to collect myself. Oh, man. Don't ruin your makeup. Oh. Us women have perfected the art of drying our tears without ruining our makeup. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so Thornhill was right there, which she was already on my suspect list. And I know Wednesday told her that Eugene was out in the woods. Do I think Thornhill even knew where to go? No, she didn't even come in from the same direction that Wednesday came from. Um, oh my God, if Eugene is dead, I'm going to be so upset because he's such a sweet child. And the fact that Eugene reminds Wednesday of Pugsley and like you could see the anger in her face like oh oh my gosh okay so I haven't quite collected myself but at least I don't have tears in my eyes anymore um that that sweet child she she told him not to go out there she told him it was dangerous but I, I want to know who set the cave on fire because it was definitely a man it was somebody that was big and very easily that could have been weems uh dressed differently um so you know weems could be the monster working with thornhill thornhill could be the monster working with weems uh i don't think it would now i'm like and now i don't think it's tyler but it still could be it still could be um xavier i think is off my list I, I definitely believe him that he's having dreams about the creature unless he's drawing it himself and he doesn't remember changing into the monster. That is kind of another scenario because I, I don't, I don't think like the, the scratches he got could necessarily come from a painting. 
I mean, he made the spider come to life. So it's, it's very possible that that did happen. I don't know. Uh, I, I feel bad for Bianca. Like, she's not my favorite person, but like the moment that she had with Wednesday, I thought was actually really nice. Um, she could have been mad because of the fight that they got into and treated Wednesday like crap and tried to blame her for it. And I think Bianca very much knows that it's Tyler and the problem that Tyler had with her. Now, I thought maybe she actually was trying to manipulate Ty or no, Xavier, Xavier, I messed that up. I really thought that like there was um, a manipulation that was going on with her and Xavier. And uh, I guess maybe her amulet doesn't always work or it's not foolproof. It's not 100%. Um, so like, there's always a chance that it still could be working and that's why she can't even trust that the people that say they love her actually do love her or if her friends actually like her. And I think, uh, I think the litmus test is, is that if like Wednesday's not mean for mean's sake, she will respond in kind. Um, and her, her way of speaking maybe it maybe it was working on Wednesday. I don't know. I was like, cause she seemed pretty nice to Bianca then and it, but it didn't seem out of character for Wednesday. I don't know, talking about heels and her feet and the dancing and all that definitely seemed out of character for her. But if that was her letting loose, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. But I would say that if you really want to know if somebody does or does not like you, I think Wednesday is the person to let you know. It's just like, hey, I think you're kinda awful, but you're not that bad. And, you know, <laughs> kind of helped Bianca out a little bit. Enid, poor Enid, uh, with, with Mayor Walker's son, like that seemed like really cute when they were getting along and he's like, wow, I dig you. And she's just like, yeah, I love hockey. And like, it's great. It's great. And I think, I think that could have been a great pairing had he actually said no, put his foot down, told his friends no. And I feel like that's how Tyler kind of got in trouble be before with the uh, mural and everything is because like the group mentality is, is that it's them against us and we have to win. So I, I like 100%, like Tyler's still at fault for whatever he did. And, you know, uh, the mayor's son is still at fault for whatever he's done. Uh, but it just really sucked because like, you know, Enid had a connection with them and she was upset that it maybe wasn't as honest or as honorable as it could have been. And I really think it was there. I really think there was a connection and I just feel really bad that he didn't, he didn't do the right thing. He didn't stop his friends. And the hardest thing to do is the people that accept you and care about you want you to do something bad and you tell them no. It's really hard to do. Now, Wednesday collecting the claw and the blood sample from Xavier's art studio, I don't know what that's really going to prove. Because who knows if that's actually the monster's claw? I don't know. Like, like, and it depends on if that was even the, the rag that Xavier even used for his neck. Like, it could be paint. You know, it's, it, I mean, we just saw paint at the, the dance. It could easily have just been red paint. Um, I don't know how that's going to pan out. It's really interesting to see her and the sheriff, like, working together. Uh, very interesting. Uh, I, I loved the whole morgue scene and, and Wednesday wanting to sleep in the morgue a little while longer. Just five more minutes. <laughs> I love her twisted humor so much. Um, I love Thing making the love connection because he knew that she was actually sad that, like, she had hurt Tyler's feelings. That's why she was just like, don't. <laughs> and he got her the dress. I love that I called a five-finger discount before it was said, but definitely, like, just for a hand, he's got a really big heart. And I don't know what the, the trophies are that the monster's taking, like, the toes and the liver and, and all of that. Like, I, I... Is there, like, a doctor in town that's stealing body parts to, like stitch on to other people? Are they building a Frankenstein? Or Frankenstein's monster? Mm, interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> the more we learn about the monster and things about the monster, the more I am, like, utterly confused. I love it. <laughs> and her dance, like, first of all, she looked fantastic. She looked adorable. It was a fantastic dress. Like, everybody looked adorable. But, like, like her dance moves? Don't know 
where that came from, but I recognized some from like an Adams family, like the the original series, Adams Family Dance, like the the fast foot shuffle arm movement thing. Like I I saw that on TikTok as well, and I was like, oh, I was just like, yeah, I guess Wednesday in the show really did do a lot of dances. Um, so like that was really cool. I think they incorporated. I don't know if they're all from the television show, but like definitely they incorporated some of them, and I liked seeing that. Now Weems. Weems saying that she wanted to go to the dance with a boy and he asked Morticia or Morticia asked him. I don't know if it was like a Sadie Hawkins, but it was a, a, a Raven dance where the girls had to ask the boys. Um, maybe I missed that part when I was talking. Um, but if Morticia asked Gomez and Gomez went with Morticia and Weems had a crush on Gomez, that's incredibly interesting now i don't know if that's the case i see morticia being somebody that like definitely was more like a bianca where she was really popular and everyone really liked her um i i i, I don't i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know there's so many like I, I i definitely was like i think the sheriff set the the cave on fire because he knows his son tyler's the monster i don't know if that's a fact or not i i don't know Cause he can't keep the investigation going on for forever. Like he'd have to like pin it to somebody. Poor unfortunate soul that that happens to. Probably be somebody like Eugene, somebody that's like good and kind and wouldn't be able to articulate something. That'd be so unfortunate. And his little crush on Enid. Now look, Enid has a crush on whoever she has a crush on and like, I, I adore Eugene and I adore Enid, but I, I, I think uh, Eugene might be dead, um, but he also needs to find a different girl. And like Enid really wanted to bond with Wednesday, like when they went dress shopping, even though they didn't go dress shopping, like I thought it was like really super cute. She's like, oh, I thought we were bonding. I love you for that, Enid. Okay, guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon as well as up to one episode a few days early uh, that will be featured on Patreon before it is featured on YouTube, as well as full-length reactions to other shows that I'm watching like House of the Dragon, Vox Machina, The Expanse, a lot deal with magic uh, and dragons. Uh, and, and as I've said with The Expanse, uh, it's science is just magic without flair. So there's that. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. One, if you know about the dances, was that mostly from the television show? And also, would you hang one of Xavier's pictures in your house? Because I think if I had a, a portrait of that monster, he'd be right behind me. Yeah. Yeah. With the little anthropomorphic like mice, like as like a rap trio. <laughs> the beastie boys oh my god someone make that for me i will pay money for that <laughs> okay guys <laughs> on that note i'll see ya